Hello our dear viewers and welcome to our show. Today we're going to be talking to you about these common mistakes we commit when we follow a low carbohydrate diet. So we've all heard it many times from many dietitians and many reports worldwide that one of the easiest ways to lose weight is to follow a low carb diet. What do you think of when you hear carbon? Maybe carbon dioxide, hydrogen or even chemicals. But today I want to ask myself and you, are our cheeseburgers causing global warming? Yes. The food system is responsible for a third of global greenhouse gas emissions. We all shall know that our food choices affect the future of our planet. Food is wasted in every possible way and wasted food equals to methane gas emitted in landfills. Organic matter such as food scraps that end up in landfills slowly decompose. It releases methane, a greenhouse gas that is 25 times more powerful than carbon dioxide. What you can do is obviously don't waste food. Make an effort to use the food you have purchased. Order only what you can eat. If the food is processed, say no. If you don't want to change for the sake of environment, please change for them. When you eliminate the carbs, your body starts using other forms of you know, macronutrients like your protein and your fat as sources of energy. But sometimes when we go on a low carb diet, we stop losing weight and that's when people give up and they really get frustrated. So today we're going to be talking about some common mistakes that we commit that lead us to stop losing weight and to plateau on this diet which leads to a lot of frustration. And one of the first things is really not understanding what low carb means. Now with a lot of low carb diets, they really don't specify how low is low carb. It could be just eliminating grains from one meal in a day. For example, a lot of people choose not to have any types of carb like bread and rice or pasta at a certain meal like dinners. And this is one way to go low compared to what you used to have before. While other diets completely eliminate any form of carbohydrates. Now you need to keep in mind, like we said, the idea is you want your body to start using other sources of energy and not just carbs. And your body loves using carbs because it's the easiest and the fastest source of energy. So one common mistake is sometimes we do include carbs in our diet and that's where we plateau. It's really very important to keep in mind that carbs do also come from dairy. So things like liban, milk and yogurt will contain some amount of carbs in them and so will of course all types of fruits and grains. And it's also very important to keep in mind that we do have some vegetables that are considered to be starchy vegetables. So if you are following a low carb diet, you should avoid things like peas and carrots and potatoes and yam. They will con like contain a considerable amount of carb that could hinder your progress or stop you from losing weight if you are considering a low carb diet. And I do advise that you take it gradually so that you don't shock your body and you don't get to that plateau. Now we have some more tips for you, so please stay tuned. Welcome back our dear viewers. So let's take a look at other mistakes we could be making that hinder us from losing the weight we'd like to lose. One common mistake is people think when they go on a low carb diet they can start eating unlimited amount of protein. Now this is a very common mistake that many of us you know do and we do it frequently because a lot of diets just restrict the carbs and they don't mention anything about protein. Now one thing you need to keep in mind that once the body is done with utilizing all all the carbs it turns some of the protein you eat especially if you eat excess or a lot of it into sugar so protein will turn into sugar eventually when you eat large amounts of it that's why it's very important to eat moderate amounts of protein so we don't want you to completely limit your protein intake but we do want you to watch it 
So your meals should not be coming mainly from protein, they should be coming actually mainly from fats. Because that's the idea behind the low carb diet, is that you want to start getting your body used to fat as its main source of energy. Now this usually takes a very long time because your body will go through all its stores of carbs. If you keep feeding it large amounts of protein, you could be delaying that process even more. Therefore, it's very important for you to be very aware of how much protein you're taking. Don't go into excess. Instead, if you want to feel full, focus on healthy fats and not necessarily all the bad fats. So maybe you don't want to really focus on butter, but things like olive oil and nuts and avocado are different foods that you can add into your diet that will help you feel full. You can always have salads with leafy greens um, or cucumbers, so focus on more of the green vegetables that will contain little amounts of carbs add lots of fat to them so you can always add olives or avocados or even cheeses that have minimal amounts of protein and lots of fat in them this way you will stay full without really focusing too much on protein but like i said do include protein in every single meal and remember that your protein doesn't need to be coming from animal sources only there are a lot of plant sources that contain great amounts of protein in them like our beans and our legumes so a lot of lentils and a lot of beans, these will all contain significant amount of protein for you and your diet. Please stay tuned, we have some more tips to cover for you. Welcome back, our dear viewers. So let's take a look at other factors that could hinder your weight loss. Now, one important thing to keep in mind is that when we go on any low carb diet, the first thing we tend to lose is a lot of our water weight. And that is just because of the way the body works. Once it starts losing weight, which is not something it really likes to do, it will drop all your water weight first before tapping into your fat stores. Now, I'm sure many of you are wanting to lose the fat stores more than anything else and that's why you're focusing on eating very limited amounts of fat and the low carb. What you really should be doing is focusing on extremely low amounts of carbs as you progress through the diet and increasing your fat because fat doesn't really build fat. Fat could also help you get rid of fat especially the healthy fats that we mentioned a little while ago. So like we said, things like olive oil and avocado and other healthy nuts that are lightly roasted or even preferably raw, those will help you reduce the amounts of fat in your body. And now one important thing to keep in mind is that when you are losing that water in the beginning of your diet, you also are losing a lot of things like sodium and potassium. And these are the electrolytes we lose once we lose the liquid or the water in our diet. So it is important that you replenish these things. So make sure to add some salt if you are the type of person that doesn't have any blood pressure issues and start to feel fatigued or tired. And do keep in mind that it does take time, so you do have to be very patient. Your body, like I said, prefers carbs as its main source of energy. So sometimes you get something that's often called as the carb flu. So you feel like you're getting sick, you feel like you have very low amounts of energy, and you really feel tired overall. And this is not a time for you to give up. This is your body telling you that it's now switching the modes or the sources of energy for it. So this is the time where you should actually continue on your low carb diet and fight it. And like I said, drink plenty of fluids. Anytime you do feel tired, it could be that you're having low blood pressure, so low sodium in your body. You can always replenish it with some salt. Of course, be careful. And the idea with a low carb diet is you also want to follow a healthy diet. So definitely avoid the processed foods that would tire you even more focus on things like whole foods. So lots of vegetables, lots of lean meats, things like chicken and fish. Have your meat every now and then. You can have it two to three times a week and focus a lot on the healthy fats. 
This will all also help you have a healthy lifestyle after you get off the diet because being on a low carb diet is not something you can do for long. And once you start introducing the carbs, always think of introducing whole grains that are rich in fiber that will help you also maintain the weight that you've lost and not gain it all back. These are some of the tips that I hope you guys will focus on if you are considering a low carb diet and we really hope you enjoyed today's episode. We'll see you all next time.